Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rena Wells. I'm an intuitive medicine woman and I work with ayahuasca and other plant medicines. All my info is down below. Welcome. I am doing tarot again, but in a very different way, not the zodiac signs. I'm going to be doing astrological things that are happening in our universe, and then I'm going to be pulling different portals and things like that so we can get some energies in regards to masculine energy and divine feminine energy on the inside. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this is how I've been shown by spirit is like, it's not about your twin on the outside. It is about the inner union within yourself. So we're going to get started and we're going to take a look at first where the current connection is. And so I'm going to pull out the divine feminine. I will probably fast forward this part and going to take a look at divine energies right now. We're going to take a look at divine feminine and divine masculine. We're going to see what is going on with the inner union. We're going to see what is going on interconnectively, what is happening in these energies. And this is for spirit, the 1111 portal. Thank you. What is going on with the 1111 portal? Let's bring down that blueprint. Thank you. Clear the energy. Only clear channel. Whew, thank you. Yeah, I love when I say that. I just see all the dark energy just go. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. If you hear banging around, it is a Saturday. I do have children, but they are video gamers. Don't ask me seriously. Your children never follow. We have fate coming out. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Uh, it just popped right out onto the divine masculine sword that I have here, the selenite wand. It's really beautiful. Fell out right on top of that. So we're going to say that the wheel is about to turn here for divine masculine, divine feminine energies. Okay. So uh, yeah, spirit saying we can keep it or I can put it back in. I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to put it back in. All right, let's get started. Spirit, what is going on with divine feminine and divine masculine in their connection? Thank you. All right, we're going to take a look underneath the deck. We have the four of wands, guys. This is beautiful energy. This is union, stability, foundation, okay? We also have here the death card in reverse. So delays in, in ending things, delays in transformation. That means that we're having more of an internal transformation than actually what's manifesting in the world. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So foundations are currently, there's a bit of a delay in foundations being broken apart here. Okay, a lot of maybe family issues as well, money issues, stability, old foundations are coming apart, but there's a bit of a delay. So it's a slow process before this new foundation can be built. We also have divine masculine energy in a very unstable space, but we do have the page of pentacles here offering something after an ending of a relationship. And so if you are dealing with karmic energies, this may be the energy that is currently happening right now, that there is a, a type of relationship ending in order to come forward and send an offering. So let's take a look at what is going on with the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. Okay, sorry, guys, I'm just gonna turn it this way so I can. It's a specific way that they have to go on each other. And if you haven't seen this before, if you look at my other tarot readings, um, I wish I could do the Zodiac, guys. I absolutely love tarot, but Spirit really leveled me up in regards to bring through uh, the teachings and how I see energy and how I see the union happening on the inside. I can actually speak to mind energy, heart energy. I have a good discernment about that. And so that's why I stopped. It was getting too draining because my channel is going, is a, was at a higher place and it was just getting too much. Um, but I do have a membership that you can check out. I do workshops, monthly Zoom calls. And uh, yeah, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. And if you want to work with ayahuasca and you want to uh, look at some ceremonies that I'm starting in Mexico next year, send me an email. The ayahuasca shaman that I work with is amazing. She is amazing, you guys. Such such a beautiful light. I can't even. Um, yeah, let's take a look here. Let's see what is going on. 1111 portal. What is happening here? Let's take a look. 
All right. Wow. 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 Divine feminine energy right in the middle is the center of the read here. If you can see, I'm going to use my rapé. <laughs> I haven't used this yet. This is for uh, rapé to give. Uh, it's a medicinal tobacco uh, that you blow up the nostrils. But I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to use it here. Um, here we have the divine feminine energy in the center of the reed. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. She's walking away from toxicity, ending toxicity things in her life, leaving codependency, ending her fear. Guys, I can contest to that because I've been so afraid of coming out here with my abilities because I'm so strange. <laughs> but you know, weird is good, you guys. Weird is good. And and walking away here from divine masculine, walking away from this connection completely, choosing self, okay? Walking away here, divine masculine is also actioning a walking away. So they are mirroring exactly right now. So energetically, divine feminine is walking away from and and in a very quick way, too. She's off. Right off the charts, okay? She's like out the races, the bell has rang, and she is gone, okay? She's leaving to to toxicity, she's leaving addictions, she's choosing self, she's leaving divine masculine, she's not, she's moving away. All right, divine masculine energy. What is happening here with divine masculine energy? We have him on the outskirts feeling the energy of what's happening in the center of the reed. And what's happening here for divine masculine is He's recognizing and feeling the divine feminine, knowing that she's walking away, knowing that he needs to action and walk away from certain things as well. And quickly, the Knight of Swords is affecting him as well, okay, on the outskirts. He also knows that when he feels his divine feminine through this uh, connection of her walking away, what's happening here is he's realizing that she's not putting up with any bull anymore. She's not putting up with any kind of toxicity, that everything that she is moving towards is abundance okay she's gone looking for those other two cups and leaving him behind now it's affecting him we're going to see how it's affecting divine masculine in the energies right now but there's definitely um union energy that's coming in building a brand new foundation and that could definitely be divine feminine um because there is a delay of ending old family patterns old commitments old relationships old things that are holding things back that are making divine masculine very unstable here in the energies okay so because divine masculine is being very unstable in the energies here realizing that there's a lot of family stuff needing to be worked through okay a lot of foundations a lot of stuff with money um yeah let's clarify guys Let's take a look. Let's clarify here. What about Divine Feminine Spirit? Thank you. Let's see what we have here. Look, she's not focusing anymore on something that didn't take off. So either, you know, this new beginning never got off properly, uh, not wanting to take a leap of faith on anything. She's really at a place right now, you guys, saying, uh, hell to that. I am not focusing on what hasn't happened in my life anymore. I am walking away from things that haven't started and moving and making my own beginning. Okay, how is this affecting divine masculine here, spirit, the center energy of, and I do this here, guys. So um, I use this as kind of like a grid to read, and then I'm just putting it here. So you can try and see all the cards. We're going to now clarify divine masculine here and see how this energy of divine feminine walking away because she's not focusing on things that aren't starting. She wants to start. She's knight of swords here. Okay, she's off to the races. So let's see. Divine masculine energy, please. Look at this. Seven of swords in reverse and eight of wands. He's feeling that energy intensely. Okay, he is knows that he needs to get honest, he needs to end deceptive ways, he needs to tell the truth. Okay, that's, that's the card of deception, right? And um, knowing that he has to completely communicate, travel, come towards her. Uh, she's gone, baby, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> I can honestly tell you guys how free I can't tell you how free I feel. I feel so free. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like divine feminine is definitely coming into her own. And here, uh, the channel that I'm bringing through for the twins that I'm bringing through are very old ascended souls, really old ascended souls. You guys have gone through the brunt work, let me tell you. And this is why divine feminine energy is no longer sitting in this in this state of uh, things not starting right, right? 
Okay, let's take a look at the toxicity that Divine Feminine is walking away from. Okay, we have the Six of, oops, Six of Wands. We have the Moon in Reverse, and we have the High Priestess. So what we've got here is she wants success. She's She's gone through the war. She's gone through uh, this toxicity. She's ending toxicity in her life. She's gone through all of the hardships and really wants to start uh, victory and success and, and walk through the darkness, is walk through the, to the trenches, uh, not fearful anymore and really following her intuition, which is divine feminine energy for sure. All right, guys, let's get deeper into this, shall we? That's the overall energy of what's happening. Um, actually, I want to clarify before we clear up, I want to clarify this 10 of pentacles in reverse. Why is there, a, this could be like a, if your twin is in a, in a connection, um, Sorry, I'm just fixing this light. If your twin is in a connection, this is about uh, maybe ending a family, ending a foundation. Could be money, could be business as well. But let's take a look here. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, look at this. A very painful time for Divine Masculines here. Being very clear about what he wants, though. Not doing head over heart. Very clear about what he's standing very firm in regards to family matters, any karmic situations, anything in business that's not suiting the lifestyle. Okay. And what is this um delay spirit, this death in reverse? Look at this. <laughs> ending conflict and ending relationships, making proper relationship decisions here, guys. Okay. Ending things, even though it's painful, right? But the lovers in reverse and ending conflict and walking away and not putting up with anything anymore let's get deeper that's just the overall energy let's take a look specifically what is going on between just for divine masculine let's see what is going on in his energy right now so guys i'm sorry i don't have any of those like twin flame cards or anything like that i just i like just good old tarot you know i'm old-fashioned <laughs> i'm old-fashioned I'm old fashioned. Let's use a different deck though. I'm being called to a different deck and I'm being called to medicine wheel. Let's see what healing energy spirit is bringing through Pachamama through the earth. Let's see what medicine is coming through for divine masculine energy spirit, please. What is coming through for divine masculine energy? What healing is coming through this 1111 portal spirit? What is going through for this portal? For divine masculine energy. What energies are coming through for divine masculine in the 1111 portal? Thank you. All right. We have first card out is cherry feminine energy love. Ooh. This is sweetness and abundance. Divine Masculine is feeling the feminine energy, feeling the cherry, you know, knowing that there is a sweetness here, knowing that this is love. This is represented by Venus. It is the feminine energy of the north. It is number six, which means that there is a physical manifestation that's coming through. We also have here, and this is in the mind space, okay? So Divine Masculine is definitely thinking of Divine Feminine energy. Uh, love and manifestation and the sweetness of this connection. Okay. What we have in heart space, we have sky masculine. This is beautiful. In the heart space, divine masculine is really feeling um, his mental world and balancing it in the heart center. Okay. Seeing very clearly using his intellect, uh, discerning energy in a very rational way, which is beautiful because it's in the heart space. And so because it's in the heart space, it's balancing. Okay. So this divine masculine is really coming into a balance. Your divine masculine, so whoever's watching this and we have a six and a four. Okay. So that is a 10. So that means that there is a completion coming, which we've saw in the energies that were surrounding the two divine masculine, divine feminine. And so take it for the inside as well, guys. So I'm sorry, I keep reading like as people, it's just how I channel, but what spirit is saying is like your masculine energy within yourself is completing cycles right taking action moving forward and we saw that in the overall energy right and feminine energy here is you know uh 
in the masculine sense is feeling the feminine and balancing that out in the mind space. So this is really beautiful. We have here in action for divine masculine is sage, masculine, south, Jupiter and air. And this is beautiful because this is healing, cleansing, sage, right? I've got some sage. In, I've got some sage in here. I've got some sage in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, this <sighs> healing, right? Cleansing, healing, taking care of self. Um, we also have here as the outcome is feminine energy. This is beautifully balanced. Look at this, you guys. In the outcome, in the mind space, we have feminine energy. In the outcome, we have a 761, which is West feminine adult, which is earth energy, grounded energy. Seven is also, you know, um, epiphanies and things that are shifting and you know seven seven is very lucky number divinely guided but it also means that there are things that are shifting um uh not strife but because in the tarot we have like seven of swords and seven of pentacles and it's always something that's a little bit stressing so there is something stressing here in the outcome in how to ground this with the feminine energy is what I'm getting okay because this is west this is earth this is fall this is also the the autumn time which is now in Canada I'm in Canada and um yeah and so on the inner world in the action and in the mind space in the heart space sorry in the heart and in the um action is masculine energy okay and in the mind and the outcome is feminine energy. All right. Let's take a look and see what is going on with the masculine. We're going to take a look at headspace, heart space, and outcome. All right. What is going on with the 1111 portal spirit? Spirit is saying these energies that are coming through for the 1111 portal is going to be uh, before. Uh, he, okay. We're going to do four cards. We're going to do we're going to take from the bottom of the deck and it's going to be before he walks through uh, the portal and uh, the transition piece and the outcome of what's going to happen. Okay. What is going on for divine masculine energy here, please spirit in the collective and for all my viewers, what is going on for the 1111 portal coming up? Thank you. Thank you, spirit. All right, so going into the portal energy, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, look at this with the Emperor. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse in the mind space. Okay, a little stone there. In the heart space, Divine Masculine rising up, Emperor. We have the Page of Swords. And we have Judgment, Reconciliation. Look at this, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, we're going to move these up. We're going to do it this way. What is happening as Divine Masculine moves out of the portal? We have the Two of Wands in reverse. So this means that he's already made the decision. Okay. He's looking out. You know, here, here, he he knows he's he's contemplating, right? Here, I feel there's a certainty that's happening, okay? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. Oops, oops, came this way. Came. The, how did this come out this way? Sorry, guys. And this is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm getting, you guys. With the feminine energy for the masculine where he's at right now in feeling the feminine and the sweetness and he's thinking about this completely enamored and and thinking about this completely okay but very upset about knowing he's made this decision and knowing that he needs to move forward okay in the mind he knows um he's that the divine feminine is is not in the best place <laughs> excuse me, and the divine feminine is not in the best place, knowing that he has to come forward now, okay, he knows 
the sweetness of this connection and knowing that there is an upset that's happening here. We're going to clarify in a minute. Let's clarify now. Spirit says we can clarify now. Why is Divine Feminine in the reverse? Look at this. The sun. Illuminated of the upset that he's caused Divine Feminine. Okay, because this Divine Feminine has been nothing but, but sweet. Right? There's... It's love. It's Venus. It's water. It's emotion. Right? That's what this card is about. It's the north. She is the due north. She, she sees... She leads the direction. She is the true north. She is the north star, you know? And there's complete illumination about the upset of this and no, and wondering how can I go for it? I know I need to do this now and complete illumination about this. And so this is where divine masculine is. Uh, that's overall energy. He's going into the 1111 portal knowing that she's upset. So give me a card about that spirit just with the queen of cups as he enters the 1111 portal in his mind space. Oh. Thank you. We have the eight of pentacles. He knows it's going to be damn ass work, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work, right? She's got her back completely blocked in her emotions. Completely, right? She's done. She's moved. She's walked away. We saw that in the overall energies. She's gone. He feels it. He knows it. Um, knowing that he's going to have to focus and work really hard on this. Okay. And let's see what's going on in regards to the outcome here when he comes out of the portal. So as he goes in, he's getting this illumination, right? That was the overall energy between the two cards. Pure illumination, pure happiness. And what's happening here is that he is definitely knowing that he's going to have to make a decision and move forward. Clarify the coming out of the portal spirit. Look at this, the chariot right? Yeah. Knowing that he's going to have to quickly move forward. All right. Really beautiful. Let's take a look at the heart space. Going into the portal, Divine Masculine is standing strong. We have him in his masculine sky energy. 10. Ending cycles in his heart. Okay. Being very clear, using his intellect and aligned with the heart, but also knowing that there is a new beginning, but it's a bit of a delay. Nothing, nothing has ignited yet. Okay. <clears throat> sorry guys this incense is kind of um bothering me i'm gonna have to put it out like i don't usually burn incense but this one i don't like it it's making me cough sorry i should have just burn some sage all right um so he knows going into this portal he's going to be a very strong masculine Okay, taking control of the situation. The mass, the emperor is all of the kings here. Okay, knowing that he's going to have to use his intellect, his emotions, his action, uh, knowing that he's going to have to um yeah, stand very strong as he moves into this portal in his heart space. Okay, so let's get overall energy of uh before he goes into the portal and when he comes out of the portal and uh what the cycle is ending as well, spirit. Give me a card on that. Oh, we've got a few here that fell. Oh, destiny, healing, going within, and the four of uh, four of cups. Okay, so he's recognizing what he's lost. Okay, overall, as he goes through the the healing, as he walks through the portal, he's going to go deep within. Looking at his destiny, looking at his wishes fulfillment, looking at what he desires, looking at what needs to be healed completely, and knowing what he's lost as well. That's as he's entering, as he's healing inside the portal, the overall energy. So before he goes in, he is the emperor spirit. Clarify here, the emperor. <clears throat> Two of cups. Look at this. So this is a relationship in the dark. Okay, something may have ended. Uh, in this deck, it's like this is like a very illuminated energy. This is, you know, things are a little shadowy. It's not the highest, greatest uh, connection. So knowing that he's going into this to heal this relationship, okay? Knowing that it is longstanding, it can be a longstanding relationship that also stands for that that he needs to heal could be karmic energies needing to heal a long-standing karmic relationship as he moves into the portal let's clarify that a little bit more clarify that two cup spirit okay yeah things are manifesting 
and being revealed about this two of cups in his world. Okay. About this relationship. I feel it's divine feminine actually like opening up about this connection, revealing that he's manifesting that it hasn't been, he hasn't been here. It's a long-standing relationship. It, it definitely is. It can stand the test of time. That's what I'm getting. But this star here, it's showing me the star here with the, yep, thank you, spirit, that it's destiny. Look at that. Look at that star. I've never noticed those two together before spirit was pointing it out to me. Look at the star shining bright, knowing that he has to fix this, okay? manifesting it it's been revealed high priestess in reverse okay behind the curtain he's seeing behind the curtain he knows and so why is this hasn't ignited yet spirit i'm gonna probably take these cards and throw them back in to do the next half but let's see here ace of wands in reverse why is there a delay when he comes out spirit when he comes out of the 11 11 portal he's going to have to Make some burdensome decisions about relationships in his life. Okay, it's very heavy. But it's a 10, which is a 10 here. Okay, which is endings, ending of cycles, right? So there's definitely a decision in love that he's going to have to make um, when he comes out of the portal. So he's going in to the portal, knowing that things need to heal, knowing that things have been revealed, revealing this relationship, look really looking at this with divine feminine and coming out. That there's going to still be a delay here because there's still going to be some burdens, but there's going to be a relationship decision. And what is that decision, decision, spirit? What is that decision? Wow. This is heavy, heavy stuff, guys. Death and the Ten of Swords. Damn. Massive endings, massive transformation, massive betrayal. Okay, betrayal that's happening. And the betrayal has already happened. Look at this guy sitting here. Like the betrayal has already happened. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the rest of the cards in. Because I want to use them again if they want to come out for the next half here. <clears throat> and then we're going to take a look at Karmic Connection after this if you if you're divine masculine or divine feminine is in a karmic but i mostly yeah yeah you'll have to take it as it resonates <laughs> let's see here i'm gonna just shuffle again guys it's got to shuffle again okay let's take a look at the action so we know the head and heart space before going into the portal let's take a look at the action before going into the portal here we have communication curiosity uh maybe a little internet stalking i don't really like saying internet stalking it's like whatever um <laughs> it's such a 3d thing like i can't deal with that toxic energy of 3d stuff anymore um but this is like wanting to come forward and communicate and st and coming out of the portal is to stop fighting here we have 27 sage healing masculine energy right being that sage being wise in his actions being that strong masculine and knowing that he has to stop fighting and do this hard communication okay so let's take a look at before divine masculine goes into the portal the page of swords pure spirit Look at this, trying to seek beyond codependency, okay? Knowing that he's going to have to leave a lot of comforts in his little garden that he's created. And there's a tower here in this nine of pentacles. There's a tower here that's ready to fall. This is the tower, it hasn't fallen yet. So for some divine masculines, this portal, there is tower moments that are happening now in the collective, but it's going to be even more so for some. I feel that it's going to be a continuous basis. Let's clarify that a little bit. The nine of pentacles spirit going into the portal for divine mask. Look at the seven of swords, codependency and dishonesty. Okay. Planning, but being a little shady, um, knowing that you got to get away with trying to get away with stuff, knowing that there's some hard communication about trying to, you know, uh, deceive and codependent and attachment. So knowing that he's going to have to action these patterns uh, that he hasn't actioned in his past before, okay? Trying to hide it, right? Trying to just 
shove that shit down, right? <laughs> so let's see when he comes out of the portal we have here fighting. I'm wanting to stop fighting here. You know, and knowing that he's going to have to use his wisdom here. So what does this stop the battling spirits? Like everything's already exploded. Everything's going to explode. You're going to have to use wisdom in situations that are happening. Oh my goodness. A whole bunch just fell out. The spirit says we're going to take them. Look at this. The fire, the four of swords. And <gasps> look at this. The lava, the lava, the lava. Okay. So what's happening here <laughs> it's really funny because it's like waking up and coming into an honest space within yourself this is what's happening for divine masculine noted knowing that things are going to have to burn and he's gonna have to sit his ass right down here like this look and let it burn because suppressing and keeping things down in the seven of swords it's very dishonest energy can't be in it anymore it is going to burn things down we also have here again guys ten of pentacles in reverse okay this has to do with commitment foundation family issues material wealth things that are falling apart here and we also have the three of pentacles in reverse not working on things anymore okay ending contracts this is my contract card by three of pentacles people coming together working collaborating making a contract to build something that's all done now so he, divine masculine knows he's going to have to end a lot of situations coming out of this 1111 portal okay we have here the outcome here for divine masculine at entering the portal reconciliation knowing that divine masculine wants a reconciliation a renewal of self a second chance coming into his newer self and coming out of the portal is the eight of swords in reverse and that is ending entrapment mental entrapment mental uh jail time basically you know being trapped in certain situations in his life in the ego believing that he can't have certain things and moving on from that and we have here this is earth energy right manifesting and grounding things so let's take a look here divine masculine going into the portal Eleven, eleven spirit with this judgment he knows the outcome he desires is a reconciliation is second chance oh my god look at this look at this look at this look at this it's been really hard guys been really really hard Okay, we have the six of swords in reverse. See how they're on they have to duck their heads under certain obstacles. It's been a lot of obstacles to try and make this decision to have a renewal for self, <clears throat> to end drama, dramatic cycles, right? We also have the the world in reverse and the knight of wands in reverse, okay. Knowing that you, he's not actioning, Divine Masculine is not actioning anything right now, knowing that there's certain cycles returning to the past, knowing that there's unfinished business from the past, but not actioning it going into the portal, okay? We also have Eight of Cups walking away, okay? Eight of Cups walking away. Let me see the overall energy of this. Spirit, what's the overall energy of the two? Judgment and ending entrapment. What is the overall Oh my God, the devil, right? That's too many. Oops. The devil. Yeah, it's toxic. The truth. Look at this. The truth and the devil. Overall energy, knowing that he has to end his entrapment to toxic behaviors, codependency, addictions, and really looking at the truth of the situation, being very clear in communication, being very honest, being very authentic, and being very open. Okay, let's see about ending entrapment coming out of the portal here and the outcome for divine masculine. Oh, my God, of course, we get the queen up. Here's divine feminine. And we have the earth card right here. So this is really about grounding things with the divine feminine. Ending entrapment because she is the nine of cups. She is the wish. Ending entrapment. Knowing that that's the outcome coming out of the portal. Okay, guys, what needs to happen? All right. We have the seven of pentacles to manifest. He's been waiting here. Okay. Waiting for divine timing. The seeds have been planted and wanting to manifest this. 
Okay. It hasn't manifested yet. This is still waiting. It's like he's waiting and waiting. Let's clarify that waiting. Oh my God. I hate the waiting, you guys. Like seriously, the juggling, that energy drove me insane. Insane. The back and forth. It's like, oh, fuck. Stop wavering. Stop wavering. I hate that. Make a decision. <laughs> Move on or get out. Like, come on. <laughs> let's see the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles investment wow blocking things out this is karmic energy coming in my queen of swords is karmic energy we have a karmic person coming in here okay so we have no long waiting <sighs> waiting because of a karmic situation or being blocked okay for things to manifest. So coming out of the portal, it's like knowing that the divine feminine here, we have the queen of right pentacles here, knowing that this is the the divine feminine ending entrapment, she's the wish, but also knowing here waiting for this <laughs> block of waiting. It's a it's the, that's what the block is and knowing that he has to manifest here, okay? And waiting on the divine, I'm sorry, waiting on karmic situations to become clear, okay? It's not a clear, uh, it's a massive narcissistic type of like, not even narcissistic. I don't like using those terms just loosely like that. But the whole aspect of like truth being, you know, um, concealed and being blocked and energies. Look at this. We also have the page of cups and the seven of wands. So being very defensive and giving self-love and apologizing. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Swords. Who's this Queen of Swords here, Spirit? Waiting, waiting. Look at this. Yeah, it's a counterpart. So it's third party. We have the King of Swords. And look at this, the Ten of Wands. It's the burden. So if your twin is in a karmic situation, okay, we have Ten of Wands again with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So it's a big burden, okay? Being blocked, this whole waiting on this, uh, karmic it's almost like they're waiting for something to manifest with this karmic and nothing is happening nothing's manifesting it's like they're stuck nothing is actually moving forward ever and it won't guys it won't <laughs> like i find it really funny but it's, i'm sorry i'm a bit of an ass but it's true um yeah let's like clarify this a little bit further with the king of swords with this burden and the queen of swords oh yeah sad and regretful of what 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 they're going to lose with this, the cups have already spilled. Okay. So really it's just a clearing of energies for sure. That's going into the portal. Let's take a look at their connection to my masculine and karmic energies. And that will be that. And I'll pull a little bit of Oracle at the end. And that will be that guys. So let's take a look. I'm going to use the after tarot. <clears throat> Should I use the after tarot? Hold on for a sec, guys. I think I want to use my Starman deck, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use that one to clarify. All right. Let's take a look. What is going on between divine masculine and the karmic energies, please? So karma does not have to be a person, can be a job, can be a person, can be uh, a situation, an addiction. It can be anything that doesn't that doesn't uh, suit your world. Okay, that keeps you stuck in old patterns. Oops. What is going on with divine masculine and karmic energies? The relationship between that, please, spirit. What is going on? Thank you. What's going on? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Divine Masculine and the Karmic? Thank you. All right. What do we have? Four of Pentacles in reverse, letting go. Opening up, letting go. Okay. That is the overall energy between them. Oh my God. I can't eat. This is the third time, you guys. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something is definitely falling apart. Okay. We have family um, patterns ending, uh, relationships ending, commitments ending, foundations and business ending, money issues falling away. 
there's a lot of shift happening with this 1111 porter. Huge, huge shift that's happening. And that is the connection that's happening between karmic energy and the divine masculine. Sorry, I still have flour on my hand. I made like vegan KFC chicken for my kids just now. <laughs> um, sorry. So yeah, so the overall energy is both the karmic and the divine masculine are opening up and letting go. And the connection between the two of them is ending solid foundations, okay? Or the situation, ending this foundation, okay? Divine masculine, oh my God, tower in the mind space, okay? Karmic situation, mind space, death in reverse. This karmic, it is not wanting to end. Please don't end. Please, this is the clingy codependent stuff, right? Uh... Yeah, feeling space, heart space, divine masculine, heart space. We have temperance in reversed, very unbalanced here for divine masculine. Karmic situation, we have eight of swords in reverse, ending entrapment. Okay, so that's the second time eight of swords has shown up. Okay, action for divine masculine towards karmic is seven of wands in reverse, reverse letting go of uh, defensive. Okay, but also this seven of wands, sorry, not seven of swords, seven of wands in reverse. Sorry, guys, you probably heard a car honk outside. Um, Seven of wands in reverse is also, you know, you have to fight with the seven of wands upright to defend yourself to get to the top of the hill. But you also have to slay a lot of people and hurt a lot of people getting there. And this karmic situation hurt more people than it did heal people. And that's what karmic situations do. Because twin flame connections heal everything. It's healing. It it's so divine and so loving that it heals every single person in your life and your ancestry line and people that have crossed over. Karmic situations don't do that. They bring the shit up and they create separation and they create toxicity. And that's what this card is all about. Divine Masculine is recognizing that this karmic situation getting to the top of that mountain and getting to that place, finally hitting that hill with the karmic, but it's in reverse. How many people did we have to slay and hurt? How does that feel? You know, like, how does that feel like in your conscience, you know, especially when you're an awakened soul, like do the lies feel good? No, don't feel so good. Um, so this is a maturing process that's happening because I'm really feeling like divine masculine energy here had to really move out of little boy, teenage energy into like what a man is like and that's why this is happening so let's take a look at the action for karmic towards divine masculine oh why am i shuffling well i guess we're doing it that way that's interesting i don't usually do that but justice i guess i had to divine i'm uh, sorry uh karmic situation bringing justice a decision is being made divine masculine and outcome we have the ten of wands in reverse and the five of wands wow really an 10 of wands again okay that has shown up in every single one so a lot of burdens dropping the burdens with the karmic completely done completely frustrated completely tired of fighting this battle okay and the outcome with the karmic towards divine masculine i don't know why i shuffle that's so funny that just happened like that seven of cups okay confused dreaming illusions fantasy that's what he, the divine mask on is fighting it's like you're stuck in an illusion like seriously like you are dreaming but you're not focused in reality and um we're going to clarify. We're going to clarify. But what I'm seeing here is Divine Masculine has really awakened here because we have the tower right up here. Okay. Completely awakened. And we have death in reverse for the karmic. Okay. And that means a delay. We're going to clarify because I want to know what is holding up. Like, seriously, let the shit go. Why do people hang on? <laughs> I don't get that. Oh, uh, I guess I'm a little bit too much of a warrior. I like cut people out like no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, see ya. See ya. Not the vibe I want. Uh, not the vibe I want to play in. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right way, but it works for me to keep my vibe pure in my, in my environment. And I need to, you guys. Like, that's it. You know, when you're highly sensitive, you guys, you can't deal with, with the ways of the world when you're, it's just, yeah. You know, 
not to say that you can't you become a hermit not to say that but it's like you got to be very careful of what you're giving yourself to so okay let's so, so let's see here the tower here what is divine masculine awakened to spirit four of swords it's awakened to separation He's awakened. Things are coming down. He's separated from the, this karmic. Yeah, look at this. Putting a halt to things. Ace of Swords in reverse. Putting a halt to things because of the confusion. Not wanting to talk about anything. And completely separated. And breaking things down with karmic. So why is the karmic energy here death in reverse, spirit? Why is the karmic death in reverse? Why is there a delay? Huh. Karmic is feeling very unstable and feeling very trapped. Money. This is also money when it's in reverse. You know, usually it's divine feminine that I see that, but I'm feeling that this is about financial because this ten of pentacles keeps popping up. And so I'm really seeing like that's karmic energy. Oh, my money. What's going to happen with my financial stability? Yeah, look at this. Okay. Look at this. We have the King of Cups. Look at this. Fighting with the King of Cups. That's divine masculine energy. Fighting, battling, not wanting it to end. Keeping, uh, she feels completely, if, if it's a she, okay, or the work or whatever the karmic situation is, I usually say she, um, just how I channel guys. So take it as it resonates. But yeah, being really trapped here. Divine masculine, fighting, battling, being wounded, persevering, because this is unrequited love. And so karmic energy is battling, fighting, persevering, even though this is unrequited, because you know what? It's about the money. It's about the money. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Listen, Queen of Pentacles, when she's upright, damn, this is, this is me. <laughs> well, it's Capricorn, but it's like she is abundant. She is nurturing. She is loving. She is grounded. She's making her own coin. She don't need nobody. She is on her calling. She is on her mission. She is independent, right? In reverse? Nah. Ah, this is this is like gold digger stuff. This is like, yeah, I see that. I want that. Let's get rich. Let's like drive up in that Rolls Royce. Let's like do that. Yeah, like no, <laughs> like that is not a thing. So this is um very toxic energy. It's also unrequited love, but it doesn't matter because it's not about love in this situation. This is about money. This is why we keep seeing this ten of pentacles showing up over and over and over again. It is about foundation. It is about money. And that's what karmic energy is. About. It's coming back down to the root of the earth. And that's why in the first reading, we saw the earth things grounding in the earth plane. We have here divine masculine fighting. Okay. Fighting with divine masculine in the hearts. You know, he's upright here. What is this about a relationship decision? So they're battling it out here, guys. <sighs> What is this? Is they're trying to open up the energies and let go. But this, what is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, look at this codependent on the masculine. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Needing the money, guy. This is it. It's the money. I can't even make that shit up. Like, seriously. Like, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Wands. Like, wanting the money wanting like seriously clarify that and watch something else pop up nine pentacles look at this deception not being honest not being honest not being able to walk away from this because it's a dream that's what the karmic energy was talking about it's a dream it's a fantasy it's in emotionally unstable and look at this emotionally unstable for the king of pentacles he is upright which is divine masculine energy all right well what are you gonna do and you know that's and that's distorted feminine energy you guys there's so many distorted feminines out there that are like oh, i just want somebody that's gonna take care of me like no take care of yourself take care of yourself like i can't i can't um you know divine feminines they hold that ground down, man. They do everything. They don't get child support. Listen, guys, I don't get child support. I don't get nothing. I made my wealth my own way. I worked my butt off. Worked my butt off. Don't get child support, okay? You count $400 a month for two kids child support? I don't think so. You know, two kids, two years apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these karmic energies, they don't know hard life. They think they know hard life. They don't know hard life. It comes down to financial abundance for a lot of karmic energies. So 
Let's take a look here at heart space now. We're going to clarify. Divine Masculine is very imbalanced with karmic energies right now. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Not juggling anymore. Dropping the ball on this imbalance in the heart space. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Trying to reach out to the karmic here. Okay, we have four of cups in reverse, four of swords in reverse, and the nine of pentacles again in reverse. What I'm getting here, guys, is very imbalanced towards karmic energy, okay? Wanting to come out of a healing place, wanting to wake up now, wanting to come out of place of apathy, dropping the ball, reaching out and giving friendship, reaching out something. There is an offer here towards the karmic. In regards to this codependent money stuff, let's take a look here. What is this offer? I feel like Divine Masculine might just cut ties and just say, yo, like here, <laughs> take the money and go. <laughs> yeah, look, not wanting to action in conflict because of the Divine Feminine, okay? Wanting to reach out to Divine Feminine, but the karmic, there's a, and he's not actioning anything because of this massive third party situation, fighting and conflict. What is this fighting and conflict? Like, seriously, I don't understand how divine masculines can deal with all this drama. Like, guys, I don't have drama in my life. Like, don't you guys hate drama? I hate drama. Like, what is this? It's so gross. Like, I can't deal. <laughs> like, can't deal. Why is this conflict here? Like, even pulling these cards, I'm like laughing because I can't deal with the drama. Oh, God, like, are people that attached? It's so gross. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I'm being so judgmental in this, but it's the energy that I'm feeling. I'm like, ew, because I haven't done readings in so long. And I'm like, is this seriously what the collective is going through? This portal is transmuting a lot of stuff. So this is the energy right now between the karmic and the masculine. So we're going to like, pull some clear, we're going to pull some stuff at the end to see what's going to happen after the portal. But yeah, look at this. The Divine Masculine is completely stuck in his renewal of self, knowing that he has to make a decision here. Completely stuck in this situation. Fighting in this conflict all the time. Like, fighting in this conflict because of the Divine Feminine. Oh! Knowing that he has to close off the past. All right, let's take a look at the karmic situation in the heart space. Wanting to end entrapment. So, I mean, the karmic situation wants to end entrapment, also feels trapped, probably because of the money, right? So let's take a look. Oh, God, I can't even stand this energy. My, my vibe has been so lovely. <laughs> like, I can't deal with this. It's like, ew, is this what's happening? Oh, my God. Okay. Because I don't even connect or do anything with my twin. Like, nothing, you know? I don't do reading. Nothing like that, unless it's for my membership, so... This is fascinating. So here it's the Eight of Swords in reverse. So we have Karmic seeing things very clearly. Two of Swords very clearly with Divine Feminine Energy. I take that as the Queen of Cups here. Knowing that a decision needs to be made. Two of, two of Wands, how to move forward. And Divine Masculine, again, putting a halt on things. Okay. What does Karmic see clearly about the Divine Feminine here with the Queen of cups wow the karmic situation sees very quickly that this queen of cups is the ten of cups all right how to move forward why is the two of wands here for the karmic how to move forward trying to trying to still stay into the new future realms right um working really hard on a new path and moving forward but there's a delay so the, the karmic situation wants to move forward as well, okay? And that's really good. That is really good because, I mean, they deserve everything they want as well. It's just not in this situation. But there is a delay getting on their own path here. We have, you know, wanting to work and collaborate. Okay, I'm getting two storylines here. Okay, so Spirit is saying some karmic situations want to work on this with the divine masculine want to get on a spiritual path with them want to move forward but this situation with the divine feminine is holding that stuff up other karmics are i want to collaborate on this contract and move into my own path but the money situation is holding me up so let's clarify here the 
the Three of Pentacles. This is contract work, working together, collaborating, could be also a third party situation. But look at this 10 10. In reverse, Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, Ten of Wands keeps popping up here, guys. Releasing the burdens, releasing the betrayal of working together. So this karmic is wanting to move on. Focusing, working really hard on ending things, okay? Because the masculine is illuminated and happy and not actioning anything. So I really feel that these karmics are on their way out. Okay, I think they're grasping. Let's actually ask, why is the delay here? Why is the delay here? Waking up, hermit in reverse. Why is the delay here? Ace of wands in reverse. Yeah, a just decision. There might be some legalities going on, guys. Money situations, court things, property selling, things like that. There's, uh, you know, opening up letting go, not being blocked anymore to this and being sad and regretful. So this karmic situation is definitely knowing that the delay may be based on something legal or there's some money holding it up, but it also could be for others that there's a delay because they, and I think that's for a smaller portion of um, wanting to move forward on the path with the divine masculine. Wow. Okay, guys. Whew. Some heavy stuff. Seriously. I, I see, you know, I can understand why I don't do Zodiacs. Any, I, I really can. Uh, my channel is so, I don't even know. It's like connected to like the stars. Seriously. I can't, I can't even anymore. My transformation has been very intense. Very intense, you guys. All right. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine Energy here and the actions towards the karmic. Oh my God, that's way too many. Um, in regards to things being weighed, sorry, weighed down very heavy. Okay, very heavy. What is the seven of wands in reverse for divine masculine? Yeah, thinking that he's missed opportunities, being weighed down heavy by the energy, trying to heal, waking up, coming out of a standstill, gaining the enlightenment that he's had, knowing that he's missed opportunities because he's been in not actioning anything, knowing that he needs to heal. Um, also knowing that the seven of wands reverse does not feel good. You know, it's like you, you hurt people, you step all over people and, and people that have been so nice to you, you know, <laughs> like I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I just don't get it to be honest. Um, yeah. So here I just don't understand mean people. Like <laughs> They always seem to find me though, but anyways, <laughs> this fool here, right? Wanting a brand new beginning, wanting to heal, wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to move forward, nostalgic about the past and being blocked by this karmic energy. The queen of swords in reverse is blocking a lot of this and it's weighing very heavy, very heavy, very heavy. What is this queen of swords here? Yeah. Blocked, wanting to end heartbreak, and Ace of Pentacles for a brand new beginning. Okay, guys? Karmic energy, justice, making a just call. So karmics may be making a just call about this. What is this? What is the karmic energy? Karmic energy has been waiting around. Look at this. Things have been revealed to the karmic okay wanting to end pain of what's been what's been revealed is this seeing the light at the end of the tunnel the karmics no okay revealing about this waiting for your ships to come in that there's been a bit of a harsh communication about that that a decision now needs to actually be made of this waiting energy what is this waiting energy waiting for your ships to come in it's like you're standing there watching the horizons like when is this going to happen and abandonment issues and being very defensive so there's a lot of inner child wounds coming up in the karmic energy aban child abandonment issues standing very firm being defensive i've made it to the top of this damn hill you're not standing with me because it's this this success of wherever the energies have ended up, right? This detour path that the masculine has taken in this karmic energy, no matter what this karmic is, is weighing very heavy on divine masculine, not on the karmic, 
Karmic standing ground. You're abandoning me. I got to the top of the hill with you and now you're abandoning me. We cut all these people. We like sliced all these hearts. We like smashed and walked over people. for. And now you don't want this? Let's clarify that. Aban massive abandonment issues here coming through for the Karmic. And that's just the energy that your masculine, if it's an addiction that your masculine's playing in, in the uh, karmic energy is that defending, that this karmic energy defended abandonment issues within themselves. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Becoming on trap though, ending toxicity. <clears throat> And becoming untrapped. So this karmic energy is definitely becoming untrapped. We have the eight of swords twice, okay? Knowing that things are manifesting in a different way, but being very defensive about the whole thing. Not liking it, not liking it. All right, let's take a look at the outcome and then we're going to do some oracles and that will be the portal reading, guys. And I am currently remaking the video for Twin Flames Part 2. I don't know why there were black screens, like seriously, I did. Every, I was up to like two o'clock last night trying to figure it out. So bear with me. I'm going to make a better version and upload that in the next couple of days. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the bottom energy here for divine masculine. Divine masculine towards karmic energy is 10 of wands in reverse here. I'm going to just move these up. 10 of wands in reverse. We're going to move this up because we're clarifying this now. Just move these. I'm going to also clarify this Ten of Pentacles. It's very fascinating to me that that keeps popping up as well. So here we have Divine Masculine fighting, 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 fighting. And that came up, came up earlier too, just tired of fighting, but still fighting uh, and trying to release these burdens. I mean, look at this in the star deck. Absolutely. Like <laughs> the staff is in his back. Like I'm so damn ass tired. <laughs> So let's take a look. What is going on with divine masculine energy towards the karmic hair spirit in regards to the five of wands? Okay. We have, wow, this justice card. Listen, karmic justice is happening, guys, okay? We have the king of wands in reverse with the justice and the emperor. Look at this. This is a maturing process, okay? This is too hard. Not wanting to fight anymore. Like this masculine is tired as hell taking control and making just decisions, saying, I need to make this decision. Karma is being served here. This karmic cycle is ending in this portal. Okay, guys. Justice. Yeah, look at the, the Ten of Wands again in reverse. I can't even. It's over. It's done. He's dropping the wall. He's dropping it. Dropping it in the outcome. Look at this. Seven of Cups in reverse. Look at this, how the karmic is mirroring. We got that too earlier, right? Because we had the seven of wands here in reverse and in the clarifying earlier, it was the seven of cup, seven of wands upright, right? Look at the seven, 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 some hard ass shit happening, but it need, it's divinely guided. It needs to happen. We have now the seven of cups in reverse, which means that my masculine is ending dreams, ending uh, confusion confusion, uh, not looking at any other option, knowing that there's only one option, which is to make this decision and drop the burdens. And, and the karmic here is uh, seven of cups, like confused and being like, this is our dream. <laughs> let's clarify the seven of cups here. Look at, let's look at options. Oh yeah. Karmic energy, confused, Wow. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the High Priestess in reverse and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. So karmic energies wanting their dream, no matter what, realizing this dream may not have been with this masculine. So this karmic is definitely like leveling up. Okay. I think it's a money situation that's really holding things up here in the collective. And yeah, it's almost like the last strings that I'm feeling for this group of twins that what's happening is a lot of just the physical manifestation stuff, like the money and the family and the foundation and all of that. I don't see a lot of emotional stuff that's happening here. So this karmic situation here is this offering is going elsewhere. Things have been revealed. This karmic wanting new dreams and walking away to find the other two cups. Okay. 
perfect. Let's do some oracles. All right, guys. Interesting, interesting read. So I really feel like this karmic situation is on the outskirts out. That is going into the portal. Let's take a look at some energies of the karmic situations clearing and what is going to be happening with divine masculine and divine feminine. I'm going to do divine masculine on the top and then I'm going to do divine feminine on the bottom. Divine masculine, I'm going to do two rows, one for uh, coming out of the portal towards divine feminine, coming out of the portal towards karmic energies, and then divine feminine coming out. Uh, yeah, divine feminine coming out. All right, so let's do that. All right, Spirit, what or oracles do you have here? Some healing messages coming out of the portal. This is first for Divine Masculine. As Divine Masculine comes out of the portal, where is he going to be in his power? Thank you. Thank you. Four cards, please. Divine Masculine Energy coming out of the portal. Two. Communication's coming, guys. All right. Masculine knowing that he's going to have to communicate feelings and authenticity freely. Okay. We also have believing in magic. We also have <laughs> renewing your life, getting rid of old clutter. Beautiful. And cherishing and loving yourself, taking care of yourself. So I really feel divine masculine, especially towards the feminine. Excuse me. I feel like there is going to be some communication coming out of the portal with the karmic energies. Believing in magic again, knowing that magic actually does exist in this earth plane. Cluttering, getting rid of things, and cherishing oneself. I'm going to just grab... these and I'm going to grab these. All right, let's take a look at Divine Masculine coming out of the portal. And this is just, and look at what I just saw on the bottom. Karmic completion, guys. Ten. Tens have been very significant. So a lot of endings, guys. A lot of endings happening here. <clears throat> sorry guys I'm feeling like a little like nasally I don't know why that doesn't happen to me I don't have allergies <laughs> all right let's take a look here communicating this is divine masculine coming out of the 1111 portal spirit especially towards divine feminine and his path what is going on here communicate freely, freely. clarify one card for that thank you Domestic harmony. Look at this. It's beautiful, guys. Domestic harmony. Believing in magic. Can I get another card? Look at this. Karmic completion and taking physical action on that. Look at this. Beautiful. 10 and 13, which is a 4, which is foundation. This is also a 10 for domestic harmony. Okay, so lots of tens coming out, lots of cycles ending, guys. This is really beautiful energy, okay, towards divine masculine, divine feminine, and their union, and um, union happening within self coming out of this portal, that there's going to be a brand new vibration that's going to be healing, renewing life and self. Look at that. <laughs> completion. Oh, my God. Is that completion? Yeah, completion and self-discipline. Five for change and a nine, which is coming to the end of things. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Love that. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine. Cherishing himself, loving himself, accepting and loving self. Look at this. Being in nature and abundance of nature and loving self brings in the abundance. This is an 11 card and this is 8-8. Eight, eight. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take a look at now Divine Masculine towards the karmic energies and then we'll pull for Divine Feminine. I was going to use these, but I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to put those back. All right. 
Let's take a look. Divine Masculine Energy Spirit towards Karmic Energies coming out of the portal. What is going on with Divine Masculine Energies towards Karmic Situations in his life coming out of the 1111 portal? Can you please tell us those energies that are playing around the collective right now for my viewers? Thank you. All right, let's take a look. What is going on with divine masculine energy coming out of the 1111 portal? Oh my God, I can't even. <laughs> Towards karmic energy, communicate freely. <laughs> Guys, I love the sinks. This is why I miss tarot, you know? The sinks are awesome. All right. Masculine energy towards the karmic. He's awakening ancient wisdom cultivating prosperity look at this planting the seeds now sharing yourself and i love this card you know still being a generous being i love this card because it's like coming out of the woods you know and running free so i'm really feeling here what's happening with the divine masculine coming out of this portal towards the karmic energy is communicating freely and saying look I've awakened to some very ancient mysteries here. Deeper inner knowing is emerging within me. So there's this beautiful cup that's being offered and communicating freely with karmic energy saying, you know, I'm communicating from the depths of my being here and I'm planting seeds. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life and sharing this and saying, you know, sharing yourself and saying, I'm incredibly generous being. And I don't think this masculine wants anything, you know, divine masculines are, they don't shut people out. You know, they have a soft heart. Masculines are actually a lot softer than women. I honestly believe that. And I see that because I have a daughter and a son. And my daughter is, yes, transgender, but gender has nothing to do with energy. And she was born male, but completely lives, has been living as a female since she was seven years old. She's now almost 15. So like this whole, I, she's definitely a girl. Let me tell you. Okay, drives me a little insane how much she's like a girl. Um, but my son's a typical boy's boy. And I'm telling you this, you know, the men are so soft, like feminines have a little bit more thunder and we have to have thunder because we can go deep into the darkness, right? But this masculine, they have a hard time moving on because they don't, they want to give. Okay, so let's see, I saw time out on the bottom. Time out and synchronicities as I'm shuffling. What is going on with divine masculine energy towards karmic energies coming out of the portal, please, spirit? What is going on with divine masculine energies coming out of the 1111 portal? Let's take a look. Communicate freely towards karmic energies. Look at this. I saw the time out. Didn't I just call it? Can't even with this. So friggin' beautiful. Yeah, time out. Done. I'm telling you, karmic energy, I'm taking a break. Taking a break. I'm out. What is the awakening ancient wisdom? Whoa. Following your dreams. Look at that. And choosing self individuality. This is also a 10. Look at this. We have had 10s in this reading, like insane amount of 10s. Okay complete ending of cycles time out following dreams awakening to ancient wisdom choosing self choosing self first always knowing this individuality because you guys know that when you when twins choose themselves they don't have to compromise themselves because choose the choices they make your twin chooses it's just inevitable it just happens that way so whatever you choose your twin chooses it's a direct mirror and so this is really beautiful because when masculine awakens to this ancient wisdom, okay, look at what's on the bottom of the spiritual partnership, following dreams, individuality, awakening, 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 ancient wisdom. We also have here cultivating prosperity, actioning this when he comes out of the portal towards the karmic. How is that related towards the karmic? Environment, okay? So he's going to be starting in 4-4. Four, four. Look at this, 11, 4-4, four, four, 10, 1, 1, 1. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm bad at math. 13. I can do calculus. Okay. I can't do freaking adding and subtracting. My brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> this 
seriously, guys, any detailed stuff, I'm so bad. I have like such a high perspective of stuff. This is 13, so this is a four, which is another four, which is 11, which is 10, like one, 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 four, 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 like insane foundation awakening um direction prosperity coming out of this portal with karmic energy knowing i'm going to build uh clarify sharing your self generosity personal growth sharing of self through his growth clarify one more about that too spirit i just want more that's a seven taking care of self he's going to be very careful who he shares himself with his generosity. And you know what, guys? I, I I can understand that completely. People take complete advantage of my generosity. Complete. Okay. Nine and seven. Um, but don't worry about that. When you give, God sees it. Okay. When you give, God sees it, it will come back in another form. So don't ever feel bad. Those people always get their karma. People who cannot like face you because you are a clear mirror, don't let that shit bother you. You are divinely watching this for a reason and why I'm sharing this with you is because this masculine energy deals with the same thing that a lot of divine feminines deal with is giving of yourself so much sharing your generosity, people taking advantage of it and growing out of that and taking care of yourself in those, those situations. Okay. Cultivating prosperity and knowing when you need to plant those seeds and reap that. Okay. And how is this affecting the karmic? I'm just want to see. And how is this energy going to affect the karmic energy? I'm just curious. Let's just ask that. How is this energy going to affect the karmic energy when divine masculine comes out of the portal? How is this? Look at this. Can't make this up, guys. Karmic relationship change for the karmic love partnership because of a karmic completion. All right. So. This is the karmic's perspective. What's happening to the karmic energy is there's change because of a love partnership that's coming in and karmic completion. Clarify the part the love partnership. It's nature. It's planet Earth. <laughs> it's Pachamama. It is the mother energy nurturing her children and bringing in the alignment. I can't even so beautiful guys so beautiful let's take a look at divine feminine energies and that will be your portal reading such good stuff guys lots of changes lots of endings lots of new vibration coming in so beautiful do you guys like my new cloth it's like a little grid work cloth that i got i love it okay let us take a look at divine feminine energies all right, Spirit, what is going on for Divine Feminine? Going in and coming out of the portal. Let's do it all at once, guys. What is going on with Divine Feminine Energies? Going into the portal and coming out. Some healing messages, please. What is going on with Divine Feminines? Going into the portal and coming out of the 1111 portal. What is going on? What is going on? Whew. All right. Whew, divine feminine is sorry, just switching up the energy inside of me, guys, divine, so I can connect. Divine feminine energy, please, spirit, clear my blueprint. Clear the channel. Thank you. Sometimes I need a little clearing after I do karmic stuff. Uh, divine feminine energy uh, going into the portal. Thank you, spirit. Four cards. All right. Look at this divine feminine, you're launching your journey. Pack your bags, girl. Pack your bags. I hear you. I hear you. I did the same thing. See you later. I'm out, bruh. I'm out. So done. So done with the energy. So done with the energies. Look at this. Look at the same thing. Cultivating prosperity, planting those seeds, divine feminine. This is before you get into the portal. So this is what's happening for divine feminines right now. They've already walked away, right? Remember we saw that at the beginning? Eight of cups. I'm walking away, packing my bags. I'm going on my path. I'm going on my mission. I have got the courage. This is so beautiful. I'm igniting my courage and I'm flying free. Oh my God. And this is before going into the portal, you guys. Let's see. What about coming out of the portal? Spirit, divine feminine coming out of the 1111 portal. Can I have four cards, please? Divine feminine coming out of the 1111 portal. Whoa. This one's too. This one's too much, Spirit. Just one more. I saw coming into power, so 
It's not that one, though. All right. We have cherishing self, just like Divine Masculine. So I love that because when Divine Masculine was coming out of the portal, he had cherishing self coming out and as the outcome. All right. And so there may be still some growth before the outcome can happen after the portal. But coming out of the portal, the first thing for the divine feminine is cherishing self. So you see divine masculine, divine feminine energies are coming closer and closer together. We have here opening to love. Wow, divine feminine. And we also have making. Oh, yeah, this was third. Sorry. Being in flow and making a difference in our world. So yeah, I feel divine feminine's hearts have to open you know, to allow the new, to allow new love in. Um, and I hear you on that. Like, I am like super excited to find my person. You know what I mean? Super excited. Don't let this like little fake ring disturb you. This is like my marriage to God, guys. This is my little $30 cubic zirconia ring that I bought. And I'm like, I'm married to my calling. I'm married to spirit. If a man wants to come in, or a woman, whatever. If, <laughs> if somebody wants to come in, they got to be friggin' tight. Let me tell you, because they got to be aligned to God or I ain't got nothing to say to you. I'm out. Like that's, that's how focused divine feminines need to get. We need to get so focused and open our heart to love because spirit will bring it. Because just because you have a twin flame doesn't mean you have to be with your twin flame. Because I can tell you honestly, like, do you want the vibration of your twin flame? What you know, what you know right now? Like what I know right now of what that is, it's like, I want to purge. Like, um, no thanks. You need to come right. And you're a temple. Don't forget that divine feminine. Nobody should be taken off should be taking should be taking off their shoes and bowing at your feet and wiping the damn feet and washing their feet before they come into your vibe. And just like how you should be for your partner too. That's just how it should be. And if someone can't respect you that way, see ya. I'm trusting in spirit. I'm trusting in spirit first. That's it. And I did that. I got married um a month ago. I got married a month ago. <laughs> And you know what? I used to have fear. I'd be like, well, then how is a guy going to like know that I'm not taking? I'm like, spirit will, spirit can bypass the ring. A real man would know whatever. They'll know because they follow their intuition, right? All right, let's see here. What is going on with divine feminines before the portal and after the portal? Spirit, wow, this is one, two, two, guys. Uh, it was worth it. It's been a while since I've done a reading. All right. I like doing these energy ones. Definitely. It definitely pulls me down into a different vibe, but I, I definitely can't do this on a regular basis. I, if you haven't checked out the new series, take a look at it. I feel so more aligned to that. I, I, and I'm sure you could hear it in my voice too, like this. I'm like, what? Time out here. Let's see what is going on with divine feminine energy spirit going into the portal and coming out. Can I have one for launching your journey, please? Cultivating prosperity. Thank you. Okay, we have music. Launching your journey. Physical activity. Cultivating prosperity. An adventure. Be courageous. It's an adventure, guys. Flying free. Whoa, two came out. New beginnings and change. I love this, Divine Feminines. Lots of fives. We got five, five, five here with the adventure, igniting your courage and your action when you're going into the portal. Okay, so a lot of changes coming in for you. Flying free, being free, accepting the change in your life for brand new beginnings. Okay, brand new stuff coming forward for Divine Feminines here going in. Let the music, five, another five, guys. I can't make up. We have five, 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 five. Okay. So we have five, 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 one, two, three, four, fives. Okay. Um, hold on. What is this one? 12, 13. That's a four. So yeah, you have another one. So yeah, spirit is bringing here, like launching your journey and getting in the flow. Music changes your vibe guys completely. I can't live without music. Seriously. If I miss a day of playing guitar, you, I seriously want to die. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's like listening to the music, being in flow of life, you know, actioning your life here, moving into this portal with physical action to plant the seeds with intention as you move into this portal, accepting the courage, knowing that you're going to ignite this adventure and you're kind of go in there knowing that I want to be free. I want this new beginning and I want to change. 
All right, coming out of the portal, cherishing yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, not letting in those low vibes come in, no matter if it's a twin or not. If nobody can come right to you, you do not deserve it. You do not deserve it. You keep staying clear and focused and do not let issues of being alone or it's too hard or, you know, guys, like I've done every. I used to fall into a victim mentality a lot. It's like, I have nobody to help me, but what did I keep manifesting? Nobody to help me. It's like, why do I have to do everything? Well, I keep doing everything. And it's like, that's been a very difficult thing for me to end because it's not just me. It's my ancestry line. All the women in my life have done that for generations, probably for the last 300 years. So when I got this ring and I married spirit, I'm like, screw that. I know how magical I am. What the hell am I doing? I'm like, nah. No, 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 no. That's it. I'm going to get my medicine, man. You watch. You watch. I start running ceremonies. My medicine man is coming. Nice Latino man. Oh, ooh, yeah. Nice Latino. Okay, let's let's go on. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> Cherishing self. Look at this. 4-4 four, four and leadership environment. Oops, sorry, guys. My phone went off. I don't even know where my phone is. Um, a leadership. Nine. Okay. Ending cycles to take the lead in your life. Cherishing yourself is going to bring you into leadership. I only deal with people who are in leadership. You are the new leader of this damn earth. Listen, environment, building your foundation, coming out and saying, you know what? That's it. I am doing this calling. I don't care how weird I look. I don't care if people care anymore. Think about me. I don't care if people think that, oh, she's, I mean, you should, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, go follow me on Facebook or even follow me. My, my profile's pretty open on Facebook. Um, people attack me. Like, like this one guy, he's like, not that long ago, he's like, oh, like, I did ayahuasca with you. Like, you have no sense of reality. Like, people just attack your sensitivity. Like, us highly psychic and intuitive people, we always get the shit. Like, truly, the betrayal. You know, because we are so sensitive and kind and open people. Like, that's it. Take the lead now. You are a leader. Let those other people get jealous. Let them be envious, whatever. Your sensitivity is a gift. You are special you are here and when you have a pure heart god might even let you watch your karma get un unveiled seriously i've watched karma in my life i'm like i'm acting from a place of love this is amazing and then i watched like the people who wouldn't get out of my damn house and karma kicked them out for me i was like yes thank you that was beautiful and not that you don't like suffering but it's like when justice is served you know you know it's worth it worth it opening to love divine feminines you are opening to love look at this compassion nine 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 ending cycles coming out foundation being built being in flow look at this 10 karmic comp i can't believe how much that card has popped up today 10 being in flow letting the karma go away so what if you never had mission with your twin they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it, obviously, you know, or they'd be here texting you, you know, or they'd be here. It's like, nope. This is this is a beautiful place to be in. Truly. It's like I'm riding. I'm I'm trusting and I'm riding and I'm just letting go of it. I'm letting everything else burn down. And look at me at the head of my ship. Look at that beautiful divine feminine at the head of her ship with the stars and the moon and oh yes. Yes, girl. Yes, my queens. Yes, my queens. Making a difference. Woohoo! Eight. Love partnership is coming, divine feminines. Could be as a masculine, your divine masculine coming into union. If not, it's definitely going to be someone that can match your vibration. Don't let labels get in the way, you guys, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. I'm sending you so much love. This was amazing. This portal is looking hype. You are ending things. You are starting new things. And, uh, yeah. And masculine too. Masculine energy is definitely doing it, but that doesn't mean that they may be ready for mission. You know what I mean? You guys just keep moving. You just keep moving. Spirit is creating things for you. Trust, trust in your heart. I love you guys so much. Love would love to hear what you think about that. An hour and a half of a reading. Oh my God. And I will see you soon. Bye.